I've been on the same Pokemon Fire Red save file for over a thousand hours. I started this journey when I graduated from high school. I had this weird thing going on where every single year I kept restarting Pokemon games. I've never really get that far into it. However, for some reason, my mentality changed after high school and I really wanted to see if I didn't keep restarting a save file, how far could I go? What could I accomplish? Could I complete the Pokedex? All these questions started popping up in my head and I decided to take on the challenge. And here we are like seven years later, so it's been quite some time. But I want to show you what I accomplished so far in the game as well as some things that I'm looking forward to doing in the near future. So jumping into the save file, you can see I have about 330 hours played. Some might be saying this isn't actually a thousand hours, however the majority of the time of me actually playing this game is just soft resetting. We got 379 Pokemon, we are so close to getting them all. Right now we're just in the Savault Canyon, I'm just training up some Pokemon, and we're also shiny hunting for Larvitar. In my current party we have Slacking, this is the one I'm training, this is for the Battle Frontier. Caesar is the Pokemon I use to capture Pokemon since it has Fall Swipe. Then we got Gengar, I'm training this up for the Battle Frontier as well in Emerald. We got a Shiny Meowth and a normal Meowth for pickup ability. And we got Shiny Rayquaza as the quintessential thing of my existence. It says the original trainer is A, this is during one of my speed runs in Sapphire. It kind of bugs me that it has the A next to it and not Kevin, but it is what it is. Since we're already on the topic of Rayquaza, I actually did EV train it as well. This is how I keep track, it's kind of janky and old school, but it gets the job done I guess. So we did special attack and speed as well as some HP. So it's level 95 so the stats could still get a little higher but special attack we're looking at almost 400. It should be 400 by the time this is at max level. Gengar is also trained in special attack and speed and Slack King is trained in attack and I believe yeah, speed with a little bit of HP. Let's head on over to the Pokemon Center because we're going to look at the, all the Pokemon is probably what really only everybody cares about. So box 14 has all of my good Pokemon in it. This is Shiny Umbreon. So I guess before we even get into that, this Shiny Rayquaza took me a pretty long time, but it's only because I didn't realize my, or I didn't realize if you have a dead battery in Sapphire Emerald, you don't actually, you can't really even get Shiny Rayquaza. So once I actually replaced the batteries in Sapphire, I think this took me like a week or two. So it was actually pretty fast if you include me not being dumb. But if you include me being dumb, then it took, um, like six months of a lot of grinding because I don't know I just didn't know but yeah this is my favorite Pokemon favorite shiny it's absolutely beautiful I actually believe I still have the original picture of when I got it so let me open that up and here we are May 13th 2019 154 p.m. we got the shiny Rayquaza that was an incredible time so let's move on to some other shiny Pokemon this Umbreon took me like nine to twelve months I don't even remember, but it took a very long time. And I was doing like 10 hours a week. I mean, that doesn't seem like a lot probably to other people, but to me, that was a pretty good amount of time. And 10 hours a week, just soft resetting. And I finally got it. This was definitely my longest hunt by, by far. I do intend on taking all this like information and putting it into an actual book. But here we got Umbreon. I trained it in HP and special defense. And it is just so pretty one of my favorite shinies too that's my last shiny i got though and that was like a oh, year and a half ago still have not gotten any other one here we got metagross this one i soft reset it in the same speed running save file that i got rayquaza in this one i think we did hp and attack also one of my favorite shinies too there's a key thing here i really only tried to go after my favorite shinies because it takes a long time to get in these games so i want to make sure that I'm, if i get the shiny i'm getting a cool one that i actually really want so Next Pokemon here we have is my Lotic. This was EV trained. We got Bold Nature. I was intending or intending on using this in the Battle Frontier. However, I think I ended up going with Starmie with this. But this is another option. Next up is Salamence. We got a Modest Nature. This thing is also EV trained too. But this is just kind of a fun one. I ended up doing Special Attack, and I think the Attack Salamence is a little bit better for the Battle Frontier. But I ended up just going with this one. I don't really like Salamence's sprite in this that much, but he's a cool Pokemon. Over here we got the Shiny Charizard. I got this, I think, sophomore year of college. This took about like three or four months of every week, maybe like 15, 20 hours a week. Super beautiful Pokemon. This is also EV trained too. We still kept the Ember for the flex points. But yeah, love that shiny. Over here, we got two shiny Geodudes. Both of these have explosion, so I somehow luckily got them. The reason why I have two is because I'm trying to get Larvitar, and Larvitar's got only a 5% chance in that spot, so we're gonna get a lot of other shinies before we get that one. Over here, we got shiny Fanfy. It's like barely noticeable too, but it is a shiny. This is just, again, trying to get Larvitar. That's how I got this shiny Meowth in here is two. 
just from trying to get shiny Larvitar. And the last shiny we have here is Venomoth. This is the first shiny I got in this game and kind of sparked the, I gotta get more shinies in this game. It's Admit Nature, which I guess is actually helpful because in this game, Bug is physical attacking, but I didn't actually EV train this or anything yet, so I don't think I really intend on it. I actually do have, I think, videos of this, so let me see if I can pull it up. Before I forget real quick, I have two Pokemon that actually fled for me in the Safari Zone. This is when I was trying to get the Lucky Egg. Here we have a shiny Execute and we have a shiny Nidorino, or Nidorinan. You can see here the Execute was March 12, 2019, 9.29 p.m. And then at 12.48 in the morning, the next day, I got this. So back-to-back -back shinies, that was the fastest I've ever seen them. Didn't get them, but guess what I ended up getting? This thing. This hard to find low spawn rate, 5%, or I think it's like 3 or 4% with the catch rate. Somehow I got that one, but I didn't get any of those easy to catch Pokemon. The Venomoth I was able to get April 15, 2018 at 1.39 in the afternoon. That was a sophomore year of college too, I think. So here's actually the old videos of this. I'm just like, uh, here we go. This is live. This was live at one point. I, I didn't think I was going to ever get this actually and I ended up getting it because again the super low spawn rate This is glare from the original video Anyway, but I ended up getting it and then yelling and then here we got that one too and then yeah the originals There's this one with the well, I forgot I posted all these videos too, but Yeah, anyway, I can't believe I got that Venomoth so just on to some other random stuff, we got an Aggron level 100, we got some Tyranitar high level. This Espeon is from my Pokemon Pokemon XD game. So fun fact, I played the entire Pokemon XD game just to get Lugia and like one other Pokemon. Gotta do what you gotta do, I'm currently still going through Colosseum. So here I mean obviously we have the complete living decks because you just gotta. Effort, oh Oddish is there but we're kind of using them right now for Sweet Scent. If anything spicy comes up, I'll let you know, but I mean, it's kind of just showing, yeah, we have all the Pokemon. Over here, this is where Ditto goes. We do have Ditto. Over here is where Mew goes. Mew is an event Pokemon, so I will have to actually gift myself that eventually once I get the, I guess, courage to. I have the save file where I can, as long as I upload it to the computer, then, you know, do that. I can give myself the event, but I have not done that just yet. Then here we got my boy Steelix. Love Steelix. Super cool. I think that's where Caesar goes. We have Caesar in the party right now because we're using them. Over here, we we need the dogs. So we need the dogs and we do have Tyranitar, the dogs and Ho-Oh. Those are the four Pokemon that I need in, or from Pokemon Coliseum. And me and my friend are still playing through. We haven't really played the game in like a year or two. So once we get around and actually hang out, we'll finish it and then I'll bring the Pokemon to here. And then we'll have the complete Pokedex. Obviously, we need Mew, Celebi, and Deoxys. Those three event Pokemon, you can't get any other way. So you have to either, I'm not going to say hack, but you have to give yourself the event. Before we move on, here we got Lugia. This, again, I played through the entire Pokemon XD game just to get Lugia. I think that, that took like an extra like 30, 40 hours. That was fun though. That was a good game. That was my first playthrough. I kind of wish I played that more as a kid. Then yeah, just keep moving on. We got the Ho or yeah, Hoenn region here. I about to say ho -Oh region. Down there we got Feebas. I evolved the other Feebas by accident, so I could hatch another egg and throw one in there, but it's not like the biggest of deals. Down here we just got some miscellaneous Pokemon. Actually, I guess we could throw Ditto back. But, oh, this Vileplume is EV trained too. I just really wanted a, a beefy Vileplume, so we got a calm nature. And we got some defensive stats, so it was kind of just all my sleep powder, stun you, and keep, keep healing myself. I just felt like doing that. Then we got the Latios, Latias, obviously. And then we're back to the original page. I want to show you guys my Pokemon bag, because this thing's pretty dumb. Got three EXP shares, we got the Macho Brace. Got 41 rare candies. Again, I, nothing here is glitched or cheated. This is just from the pickup ability. Some Hyper Potions. I try to organize the bag all nicely. Got the Max Repels, Max Revives, all that other good stuff. If anyone wants to know how to get a lot of money and stuff in this game, I do have some videos. Just go on the channel and look at playlists. I have a playlist of all the Pokemon Fire Red stuff. These full heals and nuggets. Oh, we got a lot of nuggets from, again, the pickup ability. But these full heals can go to the top. Going on to the TM case, the only thing I want to show here is the hidden power. We got a lot of hidden powers because Meowth drops that. Don't really have anything else too fancy over here. The berry pouch is fascinating if you haven't seen someone with a pickup ability before. All these are just from Meowths. I, there's so many berries and I use some of them too. Actually, I guess there's not that many, but there's a hundred something orange berries. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of items. For the Pokeballs, I still have the Master Ball in this game. Actually, yeah, I didn't need to use the Master Ball at all in this game. 
but I have it there just in case I see a shiny and I absolutely need it. But if I, I need another one, you can just speed run a game and then, you know, transfer over to this save file. Got a bunch of luxury balls. You can get these on, I think it's Five Island or something like that. You just have to show one of the ladies a Pokemon that she wants. And she gives you a luxury ball or a nugget. As for some quick goals moving forward, I really want to get Shiny Larvitar, that's definitely a must. Shiny Trapping should be cool too because I love Flygon, but I'm also going to be focusing on the Battle Frontier and Emerald. I'm just training at the team that I kind of want to take on the Battle Frontier. I think Slack and Gengar, I think it was Starmie though, I didn't see the Starmie, maybe I didn't even try to do that Pokemon yet. It's on the agenda. I also am playing Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and I want to get like things like Metagross, so the same Shinies I have in here in that game as well. I lied before, we need four Pokemon, I forgot Jirachi. Love that Pokemon, I can't believe I forgot it. I need to back up this save file, I need to get that like R4 card and put it on the computer so I just never lose the save file just in case. It just makes it so all my hard work doesn't get erased by like a single drop of water. Right now the game is vulnerable so I should probably do that soon, but it, I've been saying this for like two or three years. Real quick, here's my trainer card, you see we got like no money because I spent it on vitamins. Two stars, I mean once we complete the national decks we'll get another one, then the other two are kind of weird. 287 trades, wow. I didn't think I had that many trades. But yeah, you gotta do a lot of trading if you want all the Pokemon in the game. If anyone's out there still enjoying these games, I respect you. This is one of my favorite games. It's a cozy, it's comfortable to go back and play, and I, I just love it. I don't know. I've been playing this since first grade. I think when I was like seven. That was like 15 something years ago, maybe more. Actually, that's like almost 20 now. Anyway, though, this is a pretty niche game. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. Maybe I'll make some more videos. I would love to. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for some more, and hope you enjoy playing one of the best games ever. Take care.